In this short video, we will talk about pill counting speed. Pill counting speed is one of the most important attributes of any pill counting device. Therefore, it is very important to understand the difference between pill counting speed and the total pill counting transaction time. Some manufacturers of mechanical pour-through type pill counters make very wild claims as to what the pill counting speed of their device is. Here at Torbell, we have a much more realistic approach and we put greater emphasis on the total pill counting transaction time as we believe it is a better representation of what the user encounters when using a pill counting device. What I have here in front of us is the DRX500SX pill counting scale and I will show you how amazingly fast pill counting speed on the DRX500 is. I have a stopwatch with me and a supply bottle full of pills to time this for you. And what we did here is counted 300 pills in 4.03 seconds. So we can say that the DRX500S counted 75 pills per second. Now, unless doing an inventory count, uh, pouring pills at a, such a fast rate is somewhat unrealistic. We do indeed count this way when counting inventory, but during a uh, typical pill counting transaction, we pour at a much slower rate. And this is uh, true for almost any pill counting machine out there that requires user interaction in order to pour the pills out of the supply bottle into the vial. Anytime you have to do that by hand, you have to control your flow rate in, to in order to achieve the desired count. You don't want to go too fast or too slow. And that time needs to be taken into consideration and that is why it is very important to look at a total pill counting transaction time and not only focus on the total pill counting speed. What I'm going to do in my next demonstration is show you how long it takes to count a typical 90 pill transaction. What I'm going to do here is take all the steps into consideration during this pill counting transaction. This uh, scale is configured to perform counting in three steps, tear, scan, fill. The first step is tearing the container, a very important step that allows us to tear out an individual vial or disposable weighing boat in order to eliminate any cross-contamination. So I'm going to reset my stopwatch here. I'm also going to time this for you. So first step, tear, scan, and fill. One more. So here we have, here we go. 90 pills in 17.22 seconds. So uh, what's important to recognize here is the way the pills were dis the dispensed out of the supply bottle into the vial. I didn't just quickly pour, I had to actually slowly tap them out into the vial, but Overall, this was still a very fast pill counting transaction. I was able to count 90 pills in just approximately 17.22 seconds. Um, I hope with this video I was able to explain the difference between pill counting speed and pill counting transaction time and to show you how important it is to look at the total pill counting transaction time and not only focus on pill counting speed.